Hey, it's Jason Lynette, and we're talking hypnotic business systems, and I'm here with Bob Martell. Bob, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, and for those that don't yet know you, could you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, let's see. I've been a hypnotist for about 12 years now. Positive results hypnosis up here in Holden, Massachusetts, not too far from, uh, well, about 30 miles west of Boston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you had an interesting background coming into hypnosis. Could you elaborate on that a bit? Uh, I've been a marketing consultant and direct mail copywriter for 25 years using hypnotic uh, language in my writing. Mm -hmm. And so it was an easy transition when I decided to become a hypnotist. Yeah. And we recently did a survey of the members of Hypnotic Business System, just checking in and seeing what kind of feedback. So could you give us like a bit of an overview as to what you found to be different in the running of your business ever since joining that community? Well, the, the first thing uh, that comes to mind is ready, not ready. Yeah. Just that little uh, flip or, or, or different perspective in how you look at a prospect. Because they're not saying no to you necessarily. They're just not ready. So uh, that's helped me just treat prospects differently. And as a result, I'm seeing uh, more clients that maybe have been hesitant in the beginning. And it gave me a chance to actually revamp my phone script, my emails, everything I was doing to help make them feel ready. Yeah. Which for those that don't yet know what that is, that's one of the opening themes inside of the program, that when you organize your potential audience as either being ready or not yet ready, as opposed to where most people think about business, it's either a yes or a no, because some of the greatest clients we'd ever have might be the ones who something else was going on, but then something clicks and that's why they're then moving over to this category. So you mentioned there revamping some of your systems around your business. Could you, could you elaborate on that a bit? Um, consistently answering the phone in the same way. Yeah. Because when people call, you can tell by the questions they're asking, uh, they've never shopped for a hypnotist before. They don't, right. know, they don't know what questions to ask. So I try to build rapport. And as a result of what I've learned from you is, is how to instantly build that rapport, put them at ease so that they feel like they made the right call. And oftentimes people will say that. Some will say, you're the first hypnotist that answered the phone. <laughs> or they might say, you know, I think you understand me. I'd like to come in for a consultation. Which you're, you're hinting at inside of there, I teach the, the phone systems of how I take the call, how we navigate through that conversation, which only because I know that you and I have nerded out a few times over the years of, hey, this info marketing course or this strategy, really that phone process that I teach, there's not a lot of you know, hardcore persuasion or like objection crusher stuff. It's really just about engaging the client and building that value and only then asking for the sale. Right. right. Not, not trying to make the appointment right off the bat. I think they appreciate that. They, they want to feel safe and they want to feel like they're on the right path to resolving whatever they called for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you mentioned a few other things inside of the course. What else stands out? Well, obviously, um, the information about products and, and building your own uh, audio libraries. I'm in the middle of doing that right now. Mm -hmm. Some of these things uh, I'm waking up late to, if you will. I'm approaching retirement, but I have no intention of retiring. <laughs> I'm just shifting my whole business model. Uh, not so much because of the pandemic, but uh, I want to add more product sales. I'm redoing my website based on the guidance from hypnotic business systems. Yeah. So what kind of changes have you noticed in the business as a result of that? What's that? What kind of changes have you noticed in the business as a result of that by changing uh, some of those formulas, by shifting to that ready, not yet ready? Yeah. I'm getting uh, greater traffic uh, as I make little adjustments to my online presence, but my communications, the rapport building, mm -hmm. um, very seldom does someone leave the office uh, not interested or not ready. So the work that I've learned from hypnotic business systems has been um, about, you know, whether you're a veteran or, or new at this, and I'm a veteran, and there's always something to learn. This is lifelong learning. But what I learned is um, patience and w meeting them where they are. You know, you and uh, others in our world talk about the role of the hypnotist being with the client. Yes. It's not about uh, putting them into a trance and telling them things. 
it's about being with them on their journey towards their goals. And that has helped me immensely from what I've which, which I think you're hitting on one of the bigger themes here, which is that so many in our community, you know, if I mention money, if I mention marketing, suddenly they might be scared away, which when you break it down, you know, a lot of the premise that I bring into what I share is that a lot of it are the same strategies that we use to help our clients. Yeah. It's all based upon effective communication. So when we understand these principles already, this is what helps those people who perhaps are already seasoned at it to jumpstart and really create even more business because they're realizing, oh, wait, it's the same thing I already do in the session. I just need to apply that thinking to my business model. Right. And this is about the business model, getting your mind right, getting that mindset about being an entrepreneur mm -hmm. because before we can be a hypnotist that chair behind me right now is empty but before i can put someone in that chair i have to market my business yeah so i'm a marketer of hypnotic services before i'm a hypnotist and uh your book reminded me of that but hypnotic business systems has kind of brought that into greater focus oh thank you for that thank you for that any other specifics to kind of highlight there I would say that anybody that's listening to this interview, um, from my point of view, you need, you need that entrepreneurial mindset. And if you're going to commit, commit not only to investing in yourself, we're asking clients to invest in themselves, both time and money, you know, because our services are not cheap. Uh, but when we invest in ourselves, we also have to uh, commit to taking action. You can spend a week or two weeks or a month reading everything in your program, but the differentiator is what you take action on, mm -hmm. whether it's changing your perspective and thinking and how you interact with clients or, you know, what you're going to do because it's, it's about taking action. Just like, it's like us being our own hypnotist, our own consultant. And you lay it out. Uh, I love the fact that whether it's launching products doing uh, lead generation, publishing. Uh, you've lit a spark under me. I wrote a marketing book 18 years ago, but now I have three hypnosis books in the works and I'm, nice. <laughs> I'm, limiting it. I'm focusing on one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> but I've got them kind of mapped out. And that's because of hypnotic business systems and, and you actually, so. Oh, thank you for that. Which, uh, just to elaborate on that for those that are watching, you know, we often hear the mindset of the funnel of we're bringing in those prospects and then eventually they become clients. I insist on flipping that where they're now ascending to that next level of communication. Yeah. But the difference that most people miss out on that is that ability to position themselves at the end of the funnel where now they're going to read those books. They're going to interact with that material and realize Bob's the guy I've got to go to. You know, and this is where we kind of get past that mindset of, well, what if the person down the road is doing a Groupon for less money? What if this person is charging less? This is about creating that ultimate ethical positioning so they know you're the person to go to. Yeah. Now, not all hypnotists are as collaborative as they could be with other hypnotists, but you have a phrase, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a equivalent of when all boats, when a rising tide raises all boats. Yeah. Uh, what's the phrase? That you use the more we're all successful the more we're all exactly. successful that if i've got a client who a potential client who calls me up and for whatever reason they end up working with someone else in a nearby city which first of all i'm okay with because they're my students uh so let's keep everybody working yeah. but it's where when that person's out there having had that success story that benefits the entire community because there's now more people out there that are benefiting from this which is why well you've seen it uh this is why i'm publishing what's working right now inside of my business as opposed to just, here's what I did 10 years ago. I'm holding my stuff personal. So put it all out there. The only other thing I would say is before you start, once you decide to start, start. Yeah. You know, start with that quick start guide. It sounds like a, a confusing sentence, but <laughs> if you're going to lay down the money and invest in yourself, follow the program. You've laid it out. It's easy. It's a system. It's a set of systems, actually, mm -hmm. and not everyone needs to, to do everything. It's got to fit your personality. Right. That's where we, we have a bit of a guide in terms of here's where to start. Here's a logical through line. But really, it becomes a choose your own adventure library because, you know, you mentioned it earlier. I put out a book last year, which the book has brought in a lot of clients. Yep. And if that's a goal, here's a roadmap for that. 
If you want to break into the medical community, well, here's the roadmap for that. If you want to do webinars, whether they're live or whether they're automated, which those are fun, here's the roadmap for that. So that sort of choose your own adventure system, which makes it so you can't do everything. So pick the things that you are passionate about. I am not on Twitter and that's yeah. okay at the time of this video. And, and I'm passionate, as you that. know, I'm passionate about direct marketing. Yeah. Using the mail system to start a relationship with the perfect stranger. Mm -hmm. It's different than social media, but you can, and part of what you taught me is how to use email, web, social media, but I add direct mail to that. And as I've been told by some in our world, direct marketing doesn't work, but hey, it works for me just fine. All this stuff works, you just have to use it. That's one of our themes. I don't know if you can see right above my finger that old typewriter. Yeah. That's a 1920 Oliver. I use that to type envelopes and send them out to clients as a follow-up. Which may, may sound outdated, but I was fighting my printer over here for uh, 20 minutes this morning to make it not wrinkle my, print, my, my envelopes when I print on them. So I think you're a genius for that. <laughs> Before we uh, wrap this up here, any final thoughts for the viewers out there? Uh, I would say hypnotic business systems belongs in your arsenal and uh, remember the best marketer wins. So take from it what's going to work for you.